it going? Hey. Good. How are you guys? Good. 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 A lot of energy out there. And yeah. Just tell us about uh, maybe uh, your strength coach kind of got the juice flowing. Yeah. How's that kind of helped you guys? Um, I mean, it just gets a good energy to go to start off the day, right? Um, obviously, we've been sitting in meetings all morning. Um, so then to just come out here and kind of get our blood flowing and our juice pumping and Coach Miller helping out with that, you know, it just kind of means a lot. It's not all on us. He kind of gets it started and then we take it from there. You guys have a good bye week accomplished what you wanted to Yeah, uh, you know, we just got in here, got in the film room, um, got on the field and just got 1% better every day. Um, you know, corrected the mistakes we needed to correct from the Rutgers game and then kind of kind of look back at the season and look at the mistakes we've been making all season and hone into the discipline and stuff like that. So You get a good up-close look at Carson Spessinger. What makes him such kind of like a heat-seeking linebacker where he can kind of diagnose the play and be there to make the tackle? Yeah. Um, he breaks down film um, amazing, um, you know, just kind of being in there with him and how he thinks and how he watches film and the tendencies and stuff that he picks up on just allows him to do that, right? So his study habits um, allow him to play fast and then obviously just being a smart, intelligent football player along along with the study thing, uh, the study habits is just going to allow you to play that much faster. And so it's just been amazing to have Carson right next to me, as you said, in the seeking missile, just going in there and causing havoc in any way he can. Does that help you when he's playing at that high? Yeah, I mean it helps the entire defense, um, but you know it also helps me too because you know we kind of just we're a little tandem, tandem couple. So whether he's making plays, whether I'm making plays, it kind of just we both fire up, fire each other up off of that. And I think when he's making plays and he's making TFLs and sacks, it fires up the defense and gets the defense going. So. This morning, your coach mentioned you know he obviously had a a close look at Patrick Mahomes when he was in college and he saw the the reasons that people are comparing Rayola to, yeah. to him. Uh, what, what maybe stands out about him on film right now? Um, I mean, he's a young guy. Uh, he could throw the ball well. Um, he makes the right reads. Um, you know, just an all-around good quarterback. Um, you know, we just have to create havoc, like we said, and um, get after him. But as far as um, number 15 goes and just him being a quarterback, he's just really good, very fa um, sound in what he does, and he just makes the right reads, and that's what we see. So. What do you want to get out of this Nebraska game other than the usual like execute discipline? Yeah, type of stuff? Um, we just want to keep the momentum going, right? We're in the last uh, the last stretch of um, our season, right? We got to get bowl eligible, so we need from Rutgers to carry into the bye week to carry into this Nebraska game, get a win, and you know just keep keep the ball rolling. So that's kind of what we're looking for. It's just obviously the you know the we got to clean up missed tackles and stuff like that. But it's just the one thing I think we all need is just the momentum and the win to keep us propel us through the season. How much is the bowl eligibility on your guys' mind? Like, is that the main goal? No, we're just playing. Or? We're just playing one week at a time. You know, we kind of talked about it. Coach Foss talked about it this morning. We just got to go one week at a time, and we're gonna look up in December and see what the see what it is. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, we got to focus on Monday, um, and that's what we came out here and did, and we got better today. And if we keep doing that, then I think we'll be right where we want to in December. Well, to this point in the season, it seems like it's fair to say you guys performed almost a tick better on the road than at home. Mm -hmm. you know, what's gone into you know keeping that focus on the road? I think it's just, you know, you get that saying, you got to pack your defense and your special teams when you go on the road, right? Um, we're playing in the Big Ten. They like to they like to run the ball no matter where, you, no matter where you're at. Um, and then you got their home crowd advantage. So it's just, um, if, if you were, we're going to look at it like that, I think that would be kind of the thing. Um, now at home, I think we just need to play better um, as, a, as a defense. Um, we could stop the run a little bit better, um, play pass coverage a little bit better. But I don't think it has anything to do with home in a way. I think it's just more so. Um, mindset and we just have to carry the same mindset of away games, home games, no matter where we play. Do you think the team's responded to big environments like Penn State, LSU, because you're going into another one? Yeah, I think we've responded very well. I don't think that um, nobody's been caught up in like, oh, it's 100,000 plus, you know, or the, all the hype around the stadiums. Um, you know, we've kind of been in with that business mindset. We're going to come in and take care of business and, you know, um, get out. And I think our team has handled um, those big stadiums and those big crowds very well. What is the process of like being on special teams? Like, do most guys volunteer for that? Or uh, no, they you kind of uh, yeah. Throughout the throughout camp and stuff, you get you, there's a bunch of drills that are performed. Obviously, in camp, you know, you got kickoff drills, KOR drills, and then they watch the film and see, you know, who does the who does the fundamentals the best, who who can block the best, who can you know who's the fastest, right? Depending on what what special teams unit you're, you're involved with, and then. The coaches make that decision, and okay, you get a depth chart here, 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 and now you got to learn that position, and then you go from there.
You good? Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks, man. Thanks.